Artur Solberg does a pre-flight walk around of an airplane. But this aircraft isn't going anywhere while President Donald Trump is on his summer vacation. Solberg's airport falls within a 10-mile radius of Trump's private golf club in Bedminster, New Jersey, where there is a temporary flight restriction in place. Now, during the TFR, it's completely devastating to us because no takeoffs or landings can take place at all. So our entire operation is shut down. That means no revenue from takeoffs, landings, fuel sales, plane storage and maintenance, or the flight school. The uh, short-term economic impact on us is, uh, is significant. It's tens of thousands of dollars in current revenue that we lose. But it's the long-term harm Solberg worries about. If pilots, passengers, and students come to believe they cannot rely on the airport to be open, they will go elsewhere. Because we can't offer new customers continuous service. He blames the Secret Service. Through his congressman, Solberg has asked the Secret Service to check planes coming and going from the airport so that he can stay open during the busy summer season. So far, they've heard no response. Another nearby airport, Somerset, has also been forced to close because of its proximity to Trump's golf club, where he is vacationing for the next two weeks. When Trump visits his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida, Lantana Airport has to halt operations. And we have customers that their first question when they call is, you know, am I even going to be able to train there with President Trump coming down so much? So we have customers leaving, going elsewhere, and then not even starting with us because they're nervous about President Trump coming in. The closure of airports due to presidential security is not a new issue. Small airports around Martha's Vineyard and Hawaii shut down during President Barack Obama's vacations. Ted Shaffrey, Associated Press, Reddington Township, New Jersey.